If you guys are looking for some fast, cheap and reliable coins, go check out buycheapfifacoins.com and use discount code CURTIS for 5% off. They're the cheapest and most reliable place around. What's up guys, Curtis here and welcome to something a little bit different. I am going to just get straight stuck into it and explaining why I'm doing a Southampton career mode. You will see in a second I have done all the latest transfer updates, well, I will also, which I will also explain to you guys shortly. But if you don't know why I'm doing this, some of you may have seen the vlogs or me on Twitter saying that I broke my thumb last week. For that reason, when I try and play Ultimate Team without using my right thumb, it is really tricky. I have to like use the claw thing and it's not the easiest to win games. So I decided to go ahead and try a career mode where I'm using using this claw technique. I will be simming stuff like preseason games and cup games I don't want to play, but in general, I will be playing as many games as possible. Uh, it's not actually that hard to play. It hurts my hand after a couple games, but other than the fact that uh, fake shots and finesse shots are really tricky, other than that, it's really quite uh, not so bad. So I've done all the transfer uh, updates for Southampton, but not for any other side. So that's just that. I couldn't be bothered to sit there for hours and hours doing it. Um, and let's get stuck into it and we'll talk more whilst we're going through it. So I have obviously gone for the uh, the standard. I've gone for professional ratings. I didn't want it to be too hard, obviously, with me not being able to do most of the stuff you'd expect me to do. Uh, the board want me to get a top 16 finish. Uh, they also want me to finish mid-table, which is very, very doable. I might get to a point where if, uh, if I get a little bit too comfortable, I might actually lower it to world class. I do want to finish in mid-table, maybe Europa League. I want this to go on for a couple seasons, and I'm going to try and go for it really quickly. So I start a bunch of the lower players up for loan and for transfer and also a bunch of other players I just had no interest in up for transfer as well. I kind of wanted to change the squad but not too much. I felt like pushing Gaston Ramirez out because I, I feel like in real life he's not going to be getting that much game time so I kind of wanted to do it on the game. I also had a couple offers for some like some lower rate players like this Cody Cropper dude. Now I want to keep this career mode really really quick and choppy. Basically this first episode the transfer window will be done. We'll be at the 1st of September. I want to really smash through guys. I don't want to sit here diddle around and take too long so uh, I don't want to mess around that's why obviously I'm talking so quickly and all that stuff because I just want to get it done so this first game against Stade de Reims we actually did pretty decent considering a lot of the team will be changing I decided that I want to get all the outgoing players done before I started looking at inbound so I mean these first couple of preseason friendlies I am making deals in the background but they're not confirmed yet so as you see Graciano Pele actually pulled one back there and then Tadic missed an 88th minute pen which is a little bit frustrating but after seeing some of the few players you'll see here I basically had 20 million to spend and I'm still working on deals as we go through. You will see here as well that I have Tider. I have actually sold him because in the middle of me recording, he was actually recalled from his loan in real life. Uh, I to record him to sell him on to someone else. So I felt like uh, I'm not going to restart. I literally was on about the 20th of August and I've been playing for about an hour. I wasn't going to restart just for that, but um, I just sold him on from there. So uh, we managed to pick up Andros Townsend for 1.8 million. I'm not going to be playing a formation with right mids too much, but I felt like he'd be worth it. Adam Matthews it looks really really solid I think he's 72 rated and grows a lot and he can also play left back and right mid hence my signing of him uh, I want a versatile fullback because I only have one fullback in each position uh, I will show you guys the squad at the start of the next episode but it's pretty much the current Southampton squad. You're seeing all these players here, and obviously we're slowly picking more and more up. You saw we confirmed Andros Townsend, but we're actually into the first game of the Premier League season. But I didn't want to play a single game until we uh, have, have reached out of the transfer window. Now, in, on the actual game, like me, real life playing it, I have played a few games. Like past that, I'm into, a, I think, the first week of October. So I've played like four games or so, uh, which you guys will see soon. But we actually won the first game. Very happy about that. Quite a lot of the time, if you uh, sim an away game, you won't actually win it and then we go straight into another one no deals were confirmed in that gap in between and our squad wasn't looking too bad the defense was interesting luckily Florin Gardos was actually down as a free agent so I was still able to pick him up uh, going forward we had an interesting side Pele was taken off really early and Wanyama was, uh, was sent off but in general uh, the game actually turned out really well for us I mean to go down a man and then for Sam Gallagher to pick up an 89th minute winner was absolutely quality so so we got a really interesting sign in here. I picked up Danny Welbeck. Now, um, I paid 14.9 mil plus Stephen Davis for him. I basically wiped out my transfer budget and it may seem like a very, very strange one, but there was something about him I just really wanted and felt like it would be natural for him to come to a club like Southampton. And I just really wanted to use him on career mode. You'll also see that I picked up Sonogo and Aki, both on loan. I thought it'd be a really smart thing to do. I don't have any budget left, but I can pick up as many loans as I can. You'll see more come in in a bit. Uh, I just wanted to kind of fill the squad out because uh, in general, I've got the main bulk of the team I want. I've got a lot of young players that will keep getting better 
better and better. But I do feel like I had quite a thin squad because I sold on so many players. So having the loans of Welbeck, uh, of Sonogo, I mean, of Aki, it's just like kind of filling up the squad. And as you see there, I got another win. I skipped straight over it. I don't know why. But uh, Adrian Rabiot came in as well. And then we got Morgan Sanson. So... A really decent transfer window in my opinion. We picked up so, so many players. I am going to properly walk you guys through it at the start of next episode. I will tell you every incoming deal, every outgoing deal, all that good stuff. But I hope you guys did enjoy this first uh, little intro episode. Somehow, we managed to get manager of the month. I think we won every single Premier League game, so that was great. Transfer deadline day is now over. From now on, every game, I think, is played by me manually. So, I hope you guys did enjoy this. Comment down below what you are thinking. I hope you guys do enjoy it because I really enjoy career mode and I always do want to do it on my YouTube channel but for many reasons obviously I cannot uh, but I feel like now's a really good opportunity where I can't really do a right lot else uh, to actually upload it so if you did enjoy it, leave a like subscribe to this channel if you're new around here have a nice day and I'll see you all next time bye bye guys